Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie, and today's video is going to be a flip through and a review of this book, which is, well, this curriculum. This is Bookshark Science Level A. All right, so if you saw my Bookshark history video, this is gonna be very similar. With science, we are more than halfway through our curriculum, but we haven't finished. And so if any of my opinions have changed um, by the end of the year, which I doubt they will, uh, I will be doing a review video at the end of the year. But so far, we have really loved using Bookshark Science Level A. This is basically the same thing as Sunlight's Science. So if you've heard of Sunlight, this is the non-religious version of Sunlight. Um, we do use non-religious curriculum as Christians because we use charter funds to purchase our curriculum. I have broken today's video as usual into different sections. So let me go ahead and tell you what those sections are. So the first section will be what the curriculum comes with. And then we'll take a look at the instructor's guide and I'll show you um, like a specific lesson, like what a lesson looks like. And then we'll look through the books and the materials. I'll flip through them so you can see what the books look like inside. And then we'll do experiment book and the kit. And then I'll come back on and we'll talk about pros. Oops, my paper is sliding. We'll talk about pros and cons of this curriculum. So what does Bookshark Science A come with? Well, first it comes with our instructor's guide and it comes also with the worksheets within the instructor's guide. I pulled them out and put them into a separate binder because it was easier. And it also comes with all the different books that you're going to be reading throughout the year, as well as your experiment book. And there's an experiment for every single week, with every lesson, um, not every lesson, but every week. And then you'll have your discover and do science supply kit, as well as your paper packet that goes along with all the different science projects that you'll be doing. Okay, let's take a look at the instructor's guide. This is Bookshark Level A, and this is geared toward ages five through seven. And I mentioned this in the Bookshark history video, which I'll try to link down below in the description box. But these pages come loose and three hole punch, so you can put them in a binder if you would like. I know that Bookshark has like a big binder, same thing with Sunlight, and some people just absolutely love their binder. Um, if you want it bound like this by subject, you just take it to your office supply store and they'll do that for you. That's what I did. I just, sometimes it's easier for me to separate things by subject. So here is our table of contents. Section one is an introduction to your instructor's guide, just like an overview, things to know before you begin. Section two is like the main bulk of this book, which is your schedule, your notes, and your activity sheets. And I did take out the activity sheets, which I mentioned before. So they do, they do come in here um, within each week. And I just took them out and put them in a separate binder, which I'll show you in a minute. And then section three, will be your instructor guide resources. So they have like a book list, a supply list, a weekly subject list. And then section four is your new user information. So just kind of getting organized and, and things like that. Now let's take a look at the layout. So I'm gonna skip ahead actually to the first lesson. So this will be section two, your schedule notes and activity sheets. And here at the beginning of each week, you'll see this overview page. And you have a four week, sorry, a four day schedule for the week. And you have your books listed here on the side, which is just one. So you have your ants book and then your activity sheet questions. You'll have your book shark science, a experiment book, and that'll be on the fourth day, whichever day you decide that is. And then you'll have your optional do together. This isn't always here. This is just like an extra activity that they sometimes um, provide supplies. These are the things that you'll be needing for this week's science experiment. They provide some of the things in the science experiment kit. And so you'll see those listed here and these are the things that you provide. So for example, this one, you're providing a flat surface like a cutting board or a cookie sheet. You're providing plastic wrap, two books, a pencil, three fourths cup of flour or cornstarch and some cooking oil for this week's experiment. And then it'll have here, this is for your next week experiment things that you'll need. So you need scissors and a ruler for next week. Sorry if I sound all nasally, I'm a little sick and so I feel like I can't talk very well. But um, here underneath, it's usually on the next page, I feel like, yes. So usually they start it on the next page, but this one they started right here at the bottom. You'll have a more detailed look at this. So you'll have day one and I'll say, this, say the exact same thing here, the book and the pages that you're gonna be reading. It'll have some extra notes for you, the activity sheet questions, any notes that you'll need to know, like a special note for mom or dad. And then it'll have um, you have your optional do together activity, and then you have your day two, day three, and day four. And then here are the answers to your worksheet. So this is what they look like. You have them here so you can see the answers circled and written in for you, which is kind of nice. 
So let me just go ahead and flip through a little bit so you can see that every week is laid out the same. So you'll have your overview and then your more detailed pages. And they usually look more like this, more simple and concise, and then your worksheet pages. So let's go ahead now and do a sample lesson. Um, let's do week 11. Let me go grab the things that we need for week 11 real quick. So week 11, we're gonna be reading from the book Rainforest. So go ahead and grab that. We have our activity sheet questions in this binder here. And then here it'll show what we're doing in our science experiment book, how do plants drink and breathe. And then here is a little note saying that there's some kind of preparation that needs to be done prior to the experiment. And so it'll list it here the day before to let you know. There is an optional activity due together. It's called Attracted by Smell. And then here are the supplies that you will need for this week. You'll need a clear bowl, a green leaf from a plant, and a pebble or coin in water. And then next week, these are the things that you'll need to gather. So let's go ahead and turn to day one and the more detailed overview here. And let's go ahead. We're going to be reading pages 18 through 19. So here, 18 and 19. That'll be our reading for the day. And then we'll go ahead and do activity questions one through three. So I'm going to go up to week 11. And then here are activity sheet questions. And these, I've actually been super impressed. Like sometimes I feel like, you know, we're not, there's not like a ton of information on this page and they have these questions and they do such a good job of pulling out information from here and really making you think. And so I've really appreciated that. And now you'll notice that like sometimes they have things that um, are written out. And so my son, who's not really great at writing yet, doesn't do a whole lot of it. So what I'll do is I'll have him dictate to me and then I'll just write it down for him. There are also some tracing activities, a lot of circling and like matching, some cut out ones that we'll paste on with glue. Um, but overall, um, we have really enjoyed doing these. They haven't been a burden. We've actually really liked these worksheets so far. Now, if you decide you wanna do just a whole week's worth, you can do that too. So let me put this to the side for, for example. So we did this on day one, pages 18 and 19. On day two, you would read page 20 and 21. And then on day three, you would do pages 22 and 23. And then you would do, so that's the whole reading for the entire week. And then you would do questions one through three, four and five, and then six. And that would be all of your worksheets for the entire week. There is the optional activity, and this is on day one, which I forgot to mention, sorry. This is just finding out what smells your child is attracted to. So it's a little activity where you can gather some different things and go around the house and figure out what your child likes because they talk about how different flowers in the rainforest attract different bugs that they um, by the smells that they emit. So that's that little activity there. But that is your whole week, and then your, of course your experiment. If you want to, you could do it on the same day or you can do it on a different day, but if you've just felt like you didn't you didn't want to do science every single day you could easily fit it into a whole a whole day and it would probably take you about 15 minutes to do all three days to be honest because sometimes i feel like this takes us five minutes but that is what um that looks like okay let me put these away and let me just show you the rest of the instructor's guide here so you have at the end you have your section three so that was all of section two up until these pages. So really like the bulk of it was section two. You have section three instructor guide resources. Like I said earlier, this has like a book list, recommendations for teaching science, a supply list. Um, then you have your section four, which is new user information. This is mostly talking about how to use the schedule, how to set it up in the binder if you choose to do the binder. Um, so that kind of information is here. And then that is the end of the instructor's guide. So let me go ahead and give you a flip through of all the different books that we have here. So I'll go ahead and start that. This is in no particular order, but we have loved the books so far. They've been fabulous.
So for the experiments, you're gonna need three different things. You'll need your experiment book, you'll need the science paper packet, experiment paper packet, and then you'll need your science supplies kit. Now this box does not come with everything that you'll need. It just comes with a lot of like knickknacks and things that you may have trouble finding on a regular basis. So um, we are missing a few things. Like anytime there's stickers involved for whatever reason, they're supposed to be inside the science paper packet, but we have zero stickers for whatever reason in ours. Um, and then there was a little eye drop missing, but um, it's been great so far. It's nice to have things on hand. I only wish that they would list um, like the specific things for the specific lessons because like you'll need a straw or a balloon and there's like three different kinds of balloons and like three different sizes of straws and colors of straws and you're not sure exactly which one goes with which experiment. So that would have been nice, but this otherwise has been really great. So let me go ahead and move this off this part right here so I can focus on these things. All right, so we've got our Science A experiment paper packet and then we have our science experiments. And let me just go ahead and flip to one so we can kind of see. Um, well, let me show you a little bit of the different things that you'll be doing. So Science A experiments. And you guys, every time I look into the sunlight curriculum flip throughs, these look identical inside. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I don't know if they have like the same company, their sister companies or what, but Sunlight and Bookshark look so much the same inside. Um, okay, so you've got usually you have a question and that will be your experiment is figuring out the answer to these questions. So you have, why do ants build tunnels? How do ants walk? Why do leaf cutter ants need leaves? Um, let's go down. Why do rainforests grow in layers? How do plants help us breathe? How do bees help plants? What do insects see? What do beans need to sprout? Part one. And then it goes up to 36, which is how do you lift water uphill? So 36, uh, units or 36 experiments and then now let's go ahead and I'll show you an experiment um, so let's do this one picking a random one how does camouflage work these are laid out so well I really do love these they have your key concepts here they have your materials listed a little bit before you begin and then your introduction and we usually just read this together talk about the different questions we talk about what we know and then we make a prediction based on what we know and then we do our experiment, we investigate. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions as well as some things to talk about with your kids. And then some extra information about, um, this is about camouflage. And so we had these like two different kinds of papers um, and we made things, little shapes to go on them and we could see them better on one side than the other, uh, as you can see here. And then you have like your takeaway, or you draw conclusions, and then you have like your takeaway. So they're really fun. Sometimes I'm not the best at doing experiments. We've done almost all of them so far. But when I actually do them, they do end up being really fun, and we do have a good time. Now, these pages here are the ones that you're going to need for your experiment. And this is the paper packet. These pages are what are in here. So you don't have to rip these out. You don't have to make copies. They're in the experiment paper packet. And of course, like I've already used a bunch of these. They don't come in this, by the way. This is something that we had. But they, um, we've used a bunch already, but they're thick cardstock. And you just cut the pieces out that you need and use them when they are required. So that's what the paper packet is for. You can get, I think you can get multiple of these online if you need more than one. And that's what it is. So let me just flip through real quick and I'll show you some different experiments here. How do plants help us breathe? I believe Sunlight has videos that go along with their experiments too, which I'm hoping Bookshark does eventually because that would be really awesome. Why do storms cause damage? And it always makes the same, it always goes to the same way. Like you have your materials, your introduction, and then it asks some questions and you make a prediction and then you investigate. So yeah, we've really enjoyed these. Okay, let's talk about pros and cons. So I have my notes here as usual. So pros, the layout is really easy to follow. We have loved every book that we've read so far. 
they've all been really, really excellent choices. And when I was choosing which level of science to do, I was actually a little bit worried that we weren't gonna learn anything new about like reptiles and ants and rainforest type stuff because we've already learned a lot about those things, but I was wrong. I've been um, really impressed with how much we've learned over on subjects that I felt like we already knew pretty well. Uh, another pro is that it only takes about 10 minutes a day. This is so awesome because it makes it very doable. If you have trouble fitting science or history into your day, Book Shark or Sunlight is an excellent option, except for experiment days, those do take a little bit longer. Um, another pro is the questions on the worksheets have been so well done. They're short, but they're really, really good. Um, I also really love the way that the experiments are laid out with like a question and then it leads the kids through like a, a process to figure out their question. Um, so really, really well done with the experiment book as well. Some of the cons, I think the biggest con is just the price. It's really expensive. You do get a lot of awesome books, um, but the whole curriculum when I last checked was two sixty one eighty one. So it is a bit of, there's a bit of money there. Um, we were also missing a few pieces in our science kit not a big deal, um, but there were a couple of things missing. And then the other con is just that sometimes it's hard to get the science projects done. But I think that's more user error rather than curriculum. So if you really love science projects, this is a great one because there is a science project every week. Um, so it's, it's been really fun. But we have, we have really loved using Bookshark Science. It's been a great fit for us. If you have any additional questions though, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, this is it. That's all I got for you guys today. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye guys.